All right, for Carnegie Mellon, we have head coach Kim Kelly, sophomore Maya So Holloway, and senior Heather Holt. Um, coach, you want to start off with an opening statement about the match tonight? Uh, yeah, congratulations to Swarthmore and Harley and her team. They did an outstanding job. They they kept things very um, off balance for us and stuff. So um, I think it was it was a competitive match. Um, they they played hard. We played as hard as we could, you know, and and they just kept us really off balance. So, um, but congratulations to them. They're having a great great run right now. Yeah. Um, talk about if you look at the final defensive stats. And for a three set match, you both ended up with over ninety digs. Um, <laughs> You know, just to go several long rallies in that match. Mm -hmm. um, just talk about the defensive intensity from both teams tonight and how that kind of played into, you know, the match and momentum and things like that. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, the ball, it was hard to get the ball to fall, you know. And, uh, and you know, when my hitters, I think, thought that the ball would be terminated, it wasn't, you know. So it, it can get a little frustrating at times with that. Um, but... You know, I thought both sides of the ball. You know, both both teams played amazing defense today. And uh, and you're right, the long rallies were there, and and um, and they can get very tiring at times when you have that. So, um, but they they dug a lot of balls, and we dug a lot of balls, and I think you know, I mean, we knew going in that we would have to because we knew that they had great hitters that were really good at shots. You know, and so. Um, we knew we were going to ha have to be on our toes and in, in, in playing or trying to get go to, trying to go after those balls and stuff. So, yeah. and Maya, just to follow up with that, you know, obviously you had you were a big part of the defense tonight. Just talk about your team, yourself, and your team's defensive effort tonight. Um, I think our defense has always been a key point of our whole entire game. I mean, we're the kind of team coach says that we don't give up even if we're down, even if we're ahead, and just kind of trying to maintain that while the other team was constantly getting like these balls that normally would go down when they're still getting them up was something that's really challenging. But our team's just so good at like staying positive and staying together, I think better than any other team I've played with. Um, so it's always really helpful when like your teammates are beside you, just always helping you get the balls up. Yeah. Um, and Heather, for you, um, obviously you're a senior, you're, you're, this is your last match of your college career. Um, what's it meant, you know, to play at Carnegie Mellon, you know, your college career, and you know, to be able to end it on this stage, you know, the second round of the NCAA tournament, winning 30 matches, and being nationally ranked pretty much all season. Yeah, I mean, it's been a great season this season. It's probably been my favorite one throughout my entire college career. This is a hard loss today, it definitely is. Um, it's something that we're going to remember for a while, and but we're not gonna, um, I guess we're not gonna sulk on it. Um, we had a great season overall, our team, it was an amazing team, like a great group of girls, and I'm going to remember all the experiences I've had with them throughout my four years here, and especially with Coach. Coach is a great leader and a great role model for us to look up to. Um, I know I'll have this team as connections throughout my entire life, so it's a great memory to have. Yeah. And Coach, just to follow up on that, you know, what has this season meant to you, you know, personally, obviously winning 30 matches and going to the NCAA tournament and you know, making the second round? Yeah, um, <laughs> well... <laughs> It's going to be real hard. <laughs> um, this this group of young women, you know, came into the season with a sole purpose of getting past the first round, you know, of the NCAA, you know, um, tournament. We've had multiple shots at it, and we've always seemed to lose in the first round, you know. So one of the big goals was to actually get past it, you know, and then hopefully just keep on going, you know. But um, – our season has been amazing. It's been a lot of firsts, you know. We've never in school history been ranked in the top ten. Got there, you know. Um, in my career at Carnegie Mellon, I've never beaten Emory. Did that, you know. <laughs> so um, it, there's just a lot of firsts that, that have happened. And, and to do it with these young women, I am so grateful and so happy to be a part of their lives. And Hopefully they won't be strangers when they leave me, you know. Um, but they are—they're—they're they're a very special group that that um, pulls at my heartstrings just a little bit. So. All right. Uh, great. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Thank you.